this time from Japan already uh, Princess uh, Mako uh, uh, married a commoner and they the couple uh, moved to uh, the USA and uh, and the looking at photos, uh, apparently she was uh, last spotted in uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, and yeah. But apparently, uh, the Japanese media has been slandering her for yeah. And uh, which ended up uh, having her father, Jap Japan Prince uh, Akinoshima, know that to jump in. And defender. So what happened? So Japanese crown prince uh, Akishima will uh, talk out uh, against the negative tabloid uh, and media coverage of his daughter, former princess Mako, and her husband. So on his uh, 56th birthday. No, he said if you if you read the tabloids, well, I'm not sure how to say this exactly, but there's a lot of things that they're, they're fabricated. Although there's also op opinions that we should listen to. As for articles on the internet, there are a lot of comments, and some of them say really terrible things. There are people who are deeply hurt by the slander. So uh, these uh, comments uh, are from a member of the. I'm expected from a member of the Japanese royal family, which is known for maintaining their privacy and avoiding controversial statements. Uh, so, uh, as you already know, uh, Princess uh, Malko she uh, married a commoner and. Uh, her husband, uh, Kai Kumoro, in October, and uh, and she forfeited a sum equivalent of uh, uh, one hundred one point thirty six million dollars uh, in uh, U.S. dollars. Uh, that in a uh, in a uh, yen, that would be a different amount of uh, money. And uh, usually, uh, that amount of money is usually given to female royals upon marriage. So they moved to New York City, and uh, to be, and she is up, uh, and uh, her husband, uh, he is uh, re starting to retake the bar exam, and uh, she, and uh, and she is uh, also is a. Uh, Working towards uh, beginning a career in the U U.S., but uh, apparently, uh, the scrutiny had uh, followed the couple since 2017 when uh, they uh, first got engaged. Uh, in the controversy, is the happen uh, of a uh, financial dispute with uh, Kai Komuro's uh, mother, who uh, did not uh, pay, repay a loan from her uh, uh, ex fiance and uh, and Japanese tabloids continue to relentlessly attack the couple for any perceived uh, faults, including the hairstyle uh, of Kai Komuro's uh, choice, uh, and the public uh, had. Uh, hounding uh, led to the former princess being uh, diagnosed with the PTSD uh, because of all this negativity that they were to inflict on her and and uh, these uh, people in uh, Japan they got really like yeah you know and then Mako she is uh, free to make a choice like uh, you know she can marry who she wants and you know and technically yeah just because she's a royal, yeah, her marriage is none of your concern, and of course, even like you know, even if you're like her parents, uh, you know, 
someone's parents uh, or maybe their friends or their you know siblings or relatives you know of course uh, or even their friends you know if someone slanders them of course they'll be mad of course uh, you know you know you have uh, no right to slander them and because uh, you don't know how it might affect them but, you know, she had a PTSD for that, and you know, I feel sad for her and did not know, and uh, yeah, I'm glad uh, her and uh, her husband and uh, Craig uh, Camaro uh, had uh, immigrated to the uh, USA, uh, you know, at least, it, you know, better than, than being slandered in uh, Japan. And of course, uh, being uh, slandered uh, in uh, your uh, the country that you were born in, yeah, that's you know, hard and tough and just terrible. And it doesn't matter if you're, uh, you know, what your status is, uh, you know, whether you're uh, royal or maybe you're a famous person or a celebrity or maybe you're just uh, like a regular citizen. And uh, this is why the media needs to really back off and, uh, unless the actual person. You no know, person is actually uh, doing a bad behavior. Yeah. But, you know, you can talk about it, but don't slander them about it. And you know, just say, "Oh yeah, these people are just doing this or something bad." And you know, but they're uh, they have been doing this since twenty seventeen. So this is like four years now, and yeah. Of course, like that, that's a long time. Of course, people, you know, who are like nowhere, they want to be mad. And even as a person uh, who comes from a uh, country uh, that you know has a thing against Japanese, oh, I feel sorry for that. that she has to uh, deal with this. Of course, I would feel sorry for anybody who is uh, from, from any other race uh, who is being slandered by, you know. Just because people don't approve of like what they're, who they're uh, marrying or, you know, what their relationship with. So that's one major mistake that the Japanese uh, media did and, you know. And I hope uh, Princess uh, Mako and her uh, husband, uh, you know, they will have a good life in the U.S. Uh, and not be uh, become a target. And by people who uh, from Japan who uh, comes over there and still curses at them. Uh, people uh, you know who go online and still uh, yeah target them because it's never polite to uh, make assumptions about people that aren't true and you know spread rumors because you'll know you don't know who it can affect and this could uh, always uh, lead to uh, mental health issues and you know people need support because of this kind of stuff don't slander. So see, see an Asian uh, person, uh, you know, getting uh, targeted physically, verbally, cyber, or any other form, mixed. Always uh, support them, you know.
if you are out, out there, like well, report to the police, to report to the authorities, report it to Asia News. Support Asians and uh, you know, don't let them get slandered.